So as you can see, the whole truck's kind of a whole mess right now. Everything's taken out just about. So the reason I decided to do the speedometer cable and cluster is just, I mean, it's just a lot easier while I'm here. Basically it feeds through this, goes through the other side and goes in right behind the cluster. All right, so basically, as of right now, I'm just going to go ahead and feed the cable through, and we'll go from there. So clearly, there's a little pushback. Oops. Let's see. Let's see. Perfect. So... For the tools that you actually do need, um, it's quite funny. All you really need is a Phillips screwdriver to take everything off. Um, and a 10 millimeter. That's it. Get all this out with a screwdriver, a 10 millimeter. So let's get to it. So if you guys can actually go ahead and see this, super simple with this cluster. Everything just kind of clips in on the top. Now, since this is a 91 and this is cable driven, um, that also snaps in right there. If you do have an older one, or I guess a newer one, so 92 and newer, it's going to be electronic driven. I believe it's just another plug, but don't quote me on that. So I just went ahead and went through the firewall and pushed out the cable a little bit more. If you do have an OEM cable, um, I don't think you're really going to be able to do that due to some things on the cable. But I had this cable custom made for me at a shop locally. I'll go ahead and put their description down in the bio. Or their, their link in the bio. Basically, they made a custom cable, which I think is better than OEM standards. And it was a lot cheaper too. You can go ahead and contact them. I'll put their info in the bio. So this cable is really easy to go on. It just snaps on. To take it off, you're just gonna hit this tab right here and pull it out. But other than that, everything's hooked up and now it's just time to bolt down the cluster. So for those of you who have not taken out your own cluster, um, it takes four bolts, four screws, I mean. One on every corner, I went ahead and labeled mine. Um, <clears throat> they could be a different length from everything else, so it's always best to label your stuff. But let's go ahead and put those screws in. So I just put in those four screws. Now this thing's really secure. Now it's just time to put on the whole bezel. All right, so this entire bezel just snaps into place. Um, you do have to mine for this plug and also these two right here. And then, I mean, that's about it. So a trick that I do with these plugs is I actually snap out the switch and I feed it through because the way these go on is they snap in from the outside. So it's definitely a lot easier from the, trying to fight it from the back compared to this side. Everything's kind of just switched in. Super easy. Now let's go ahead and snap it on. All right, so once it's snapped in, you just got to make sure you get over the steering wheel. Everything should look pretty flush. It does take two screws up here, but let's go ahead and put in this connector right now. All right, so once you get those two screws in on the top, this little AC area takes three. This is a mounting point for this bracket, or a bracket for this whole area. It takes two other ones. Um, I'm actually going to stop right here. I am going to do more stuff to my stereo. But this is how you take out or basically install your cluster. Just do the reverse steps and you'll get there. 